TV, welcome back. Hey, shoutouts to the Alter Maven. Very good knowledge there. This uh, this game is in fact a 100% reskin of Kamen no Ninja Hanamaru. It's a totally different game. Um, functionally, it's the same as far as controlling it, but the levels look different, even though they're the same. Um, it's really weird and cool. I suggest trying that out, but as we know, this game has the reputation of being a beast. So... I'm gonna do commentary as I can, but I'm gonna be needing to concentrate, so uh, if I make any funny noises, like, just enjoy them. <laughs> Alright, let me just get a reset right quick, and I'm gonna make darn sure timer starts this time. Okay, here we go, three, two, one, yo. One thing I will say off the bat is, uh, any percent we will be taking the four warps in four different levels. Which means we will be doing a whack-a-mole minigame. This is in contrast to the the card matching game or number matching game at the end of certain rounds. I believe it's every odd number round, starting with this one. And that's where the most RNG happens. Things like enemy patterns, at least for like these jumpers, these fish, um, and when they spawn, that's all set. Most of the time, you can. Oh, I almost didn't get that card. Okay, uh, most of the time you can uh, wiggle around them or something. Ah! Let's see how we do. We want two ones and get the heck out. Not a good start. We don't have to fill up that many pizzas, so I'm not worried about it yet. But that's where the big difference... Okay, we got a one. The big difference in your time in your PB is going to come from. Because you can have perfect execution in all the levels, but it all will depend. Your PB will go down the toilet if the game decides that's what it wants from you. Hopefully we get another one here quick. Well, that doesn't really help, but we beat it. We needed the one so we could use the multiplier to get out faster, but I'm, you know, at this point, I'm just trying to just trying to survive in this world of pizza and noids. Okay, well, that's what we needed to begin with, but there we go. Well, we got out. I will say this game is very aware of how hard it is. It gives you plenty of continues. And one-ups are abound. There's a couple of one-up pickups, but you will mostly be getting them from every 20,000 points. I'm right, gonna focus a little bit here. Safety. There's speed stretch through there, but no. Platforms are very slippery and not real intuitive. Even when you know how to handle them, they're just not friendly. First warp, jump in the air. They're all jump in the air, but they're in different locations. Okay, whack mole game, I will be concentrating. Hold down A to run, B to whack, Katie. Okay, now that, now that I'm safe. Okay, I ran into the uh, torpedo, unfortunately, but you wanna, if you actually hit the mole, you lose two seconds, which is helpful when you're going for a better PB. It'll get you out of the round two seconds faster. But those, those do get a little harder. Okay, we gotta continue. All right, one of my favorite levels.
When you're flashing, you are invulnerable. Yeah, get up there. Okay, jeez. Oh, gotta have a skateboarding level in the 90s. Absolutely, Pico. Let's hope for some better luck here. Not great. Not great, but we'll, we'll do what we gotta for now. If you want skateboarding and rollerblading, check out Green Dog. Alright, we can do a little sun against that. Now we only need two. If get lucky, pull a one, pull a one, pull a one. I would have preferred the one. We wouldn't have need to use multiplier, but let's just go. Level two is a very large spike in difficulty. The, the jumps are not fair. The platforms don't like you. Huh. We got out of there pretty fast, so that, that was a that was not a bad matching game. It's not really matching; it's a number game, but stuck in my head. I think they're all meant to be of an evil bent. I don't see. I don't really. I don't subscribe to them being evil. They're probably more like neutral. You know, they're more concerned with their ends, regardless. Um. Now, evil, good, doesn't really matter to them. They're doing their thing. But then again, it's like uh, Obi-Wan said, it's a matter of perspective. He didn't say it like that, but that's what it was. Throwing, super slinky. Gonna come in handy. Oh no. I didn't think I got all that jump. I was worried. Jump a little too early. Got a little scary. Alright, super slinky. And I just... Uh, safety. Faster way around that, but... Not safe. Deadly dangerous. Alright, that's another semi-tough level. This is not the toughest level, but it, uh... can go wrong. They can all go wrong. Notice his color changed slightly because of, you know, asset limitations and all. And we're gonna grab the Yashichi. Which was, you know, most people recognize the Yashichi from Capcom games. Some people call it the pinwheel, you know, that's fine. Alright, I need to be a little careful on this coming jump right here, because... Hang on. Hang out, and then short... Okay. That fish was going weird directions when I was practicing this morning. And I was... Not happy about it. Okay. Hungry Howie? No, unfortunately not. Are there any hungry, hungry hippos? No, I don't think so. Alright, let's use a little pepper. You really not smell that pepper? Uh, I don't wanna, but we'll do that.
Yo, wow. I got annoyed, y'all. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. But I did, <laughs> in between going back and forth trying to figure out what was going on and not letting the timer expire in the game, oh my gosh, that was a headache. I got annoyed, and we're just gonna, we're gonna go from here. The, the timer is nothing. There's no timer. Um, let, let's just keep going. Thanks, y'all, for hanging in there. You know, sometimes these things happen. How how much more appropriate when it's Yo-Noid? I love it. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, here we go, y'all. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of how the, the whole month of practicing has been, if I'm being honest. Very, very few full clears. But also, in practicing speed strats, you know, you'll have a lot more fails than successes. Sure, it had something to do with the uh, the game that they took this from, but uh, I don't know why they had to have these little buttons to raise the docks. Like, didn't you just put them there? And a warp. Okay. There is only Noid. Yes. All right, another whack a mole, whack a mole, whack a mole, whack a mole, ski ball. Come here. Oh, I need you. Oh. You'd be fine without that one, but then I got stuck. Damn it. Darn it. Heck. What are words? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> the Noid has a yacht, man. He's got Domino's money. Lady G, what up? game, second to last warp, coming up. A lot of hidden objects, but they're all for good items that you definitely want. They all contribute in the number game. And there's a third warp. This one can be a pain in the butt. I don't want to have to do this one again. Do I want? Ah. Okay, we're good. The little triangle at the bottom. You have to cross that line. Otherwise, you don't make it. Sent all the way back to the beginning of the level. I'd say probably the carnival is my other favorite level, besides the skateboarding level. There's actually a bug you can do if you press the jump slash fly button 
Um, on the first frame of control, you get a speed boost in these levels, but it's much trickier to navigate. I figured out how to do it, but I'm not keen on doing it during a live run. Not yet. No! Oh, butts. One pump too many. That's okay. Not bad for my first actual death. You know, not counting when I got noited. These levels are pretty chill, though. They're not really that intense. The second one, you gotta be a little careful, but this one, for the most part, is like a fun ride. Ah, I knew I did it too high. Plenty of lives for now. Gotta slow down. Got annoyed and now I'm all shook. What they say, he ain't a crook, son. He just a shook one. Don't get annoyed again! Jimmy! <laughs> I don't know why I tried to go over it. Sorry, like I said, I'm a little, I'm a little shook after getting noited, but let me, uh, let me pull myself up by my grundle and uh, we'll get through this. I promise. Let's just hesitate. This hasn't been a speed run for a minute. <laughs> Y'all know when the instincts kick in. Oh fan, oh fan. At least I have one fan. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's two in this level. Those squirrels like to come back if you're not quick enough, but I think we're good. Major obstacle with these fans. Anything that's ah coming right at you and you're going slow. There we go. This, you know what? Th this is a very space goals level. I, that's actually a great comparison. Okay, and release. <laughs> Whatever that means, you know, for nothing. Slow and steady. Little dangerous here. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Coming up on the final warp. Then the rest of the levels you just do straight through. I'm still laughing to myself that I got annoyed. Like, it's so perfect. So in the game manual, they actually had a $1 coupon off of a Domino's Pizza. That's about as connected as they were, for what I remember. There we go. 
All right, one for good measure. All right, well, that's all the uh, whack-a-mole minigames and wharfs that we're going to have. I just love watching them zip around the screen. This level's cool, but it's also kind of a pain in the butt, so it's not one of my favorites. Those bottles have such a hitbox, like, ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. Moving on. Daddy. Uh. Oh, that part right there always scares me. This guy, you just walk, 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 hit him as soon as you can. A little careful because you want the Yashichi for invulnerability and a speed boost, but you can't use your yo-yo, which is fine. It just means you can't reveal any hidden items. That is correct. This is originally uh, Kamen no Ninja Hanamaru. Totally reskinned. Alright, this level sucks, so I'm gonna be quiet. Runs out right before you would land on that snail, of course. No, they don't want to give you too much help now. Okay. I get scared, even though I know it's supposed to be fine. Very traumatic. The ears, that's really part of the hitbox that scares me, even though it's not a factor. Use a little magic just to be safe, that's a lot of enemies. Those boxes take a lot of hits, and those jumping mechanical dudes, I, I don't know really what they're supposed to be, but uh... They also take three hits, and they're pretty quick. Okay, we could be fast and get over there before that snail is a factor, but I'm not messing around. One and done, thank you. Alright, so you're gonna start seeing the enemy noid gets much higher cards than I do, but I get multipliers, so it's not so bad. I also get attack cards. And they don't. Ugh. Can't really... We can't beat it too much, but we can beat it a little bit. Now I only need six pizzas. <coughs> Not so bad. Ugh. I'd rather not use up all my multipliers. I'm not quite sure how many you end the game with. That really depends if you grab them all along the way up, but okay. I see what you're suggesting. I knew it. It was looking bad. Alright. Do the last dab, Pete. <laughs> Yes, okay. It's like, do I have a three? Well, hey, you know what I always say, if you're gonna eat pizza, eat some pizza, you know? What's this one slice? I understand if you don't want to finish the crust, somebody will eat it, but... We, does anybody else call the crust the pizza bones? That's what we call it in my family. The crust is the pizza bones. Alright, this level also sucks. I'm going to be a little quiet. Dashichi, and we run it.
Oops. Oh. Oh. Damn. One little slip. Alright, there's a, a quick method through here that I am not comfortable with. But you basically jump through, you jump under that worm that's jumping, land here, and get under the other dude, and just, no, we're not doing that, no. <laughs> Oh, that would be killer. I would love to be able to forward slash pizza and have one delivered. That'd be, that'd be amazing. Alright, if we... I didn't have enough magic to use the Noid suit, otherwise we'd be flinging up... Oh no, fling up the stage. It hit my jump. My delicious jump input. My pepperoni flavored input. Got eaten. I will say, this is one of the hardest levels, whether or not you have the suit ready to use. And go! Ah! Very. Ah, I hate this. Ugh. And that's the hardest part right there. If you have the, the, the Noid suit, you jump behind him and it scares it. I mean, you know, quote unquote, scares him away. He goes running. Oh, no, no, no. I thought I was faster. Yeah, but yells, if it was anchovy flavored, then that's what my thumb would smell like, giggity. My delicious jump input. My delicious jump input. That's three pepperonis that got eaten in this level. What the four? These, I will say, these stairs are a little wonky. I think that contributes. I don't need the double, but I want it. What the? F I'm saying, like, if y'all could see, I don't have, uh, input display, but if y'all could say I'm pressing this button every time. Like, why wouldn't I, right? Y'all know. Y'all know. Sorry, the Noid is still in effect it would seem. Ugh. Embarrassing. I wanted to at least go no game overs after all that. But as you can see, we have plenty of continues. Starts us off right at the beginning of the last level we were on. No big deal. I was hoping I could go smooth from here, just because I'm sure, like, with that little snafu we had, you know, we need to catch up. Oh, God. Hang on. It spits them so fast, it's ridiculous. Ugh. My... I think my jump button is failing, actually. Because I just pressed it on flat ground and got nothing. That's unfortunate. This is a bad time for that to go. I will say. Do this. Where's it? Where, okay. Normally you can jump up behind him when you have the height boost from the Noid suit. Not when you're regular Noid. Jump button, please. Please, this would be the worst time. There's literally nowhere to fall back down. And this is the last level that isn't flying. Oh, that right there, too, is tricksy. Now I gotta cook it. Now I gotta cook it. Okay, we're good. You can and will miss your ride. Okay. Ugh. Oh. I'm sure I'm going over time, even with uh, not counting the, uh, what you call it, when I got noited, but I appreciate y'all taking it in stride. This is bad. I don't have any triples. Didn't I just get a triple? All right. Let's see what happens. This is uh, going to be gonna be scary. Oh, okay. Two. That's very kind of you.
need eight more, my goodness. Four. Do it for now, but those five and sixes are gonna be a problem. <laughs> I haven't busted out the Kuma clutch since RSCW went on hiatus. Oh boy, Pepper. Peppa! You can actually win if you, um, if the opponent runs out of cards, you can still win. Since I had at least one pepper, okay, we're good. Since I had at least one pepper, that means that, uh, you can have that happen, which it would be amazing. I'm gonna try to get the, they call it the Jakku Jet, because I, I think he discovered it. Um, current world record holder, the any percent. Uh, first sub-20 in the game. And we did not get it. Like I said, it's a first frame trick, so, you know, what are you gonna do? A lovely triple. Let me get this Peppa. Let me get this other Peppa. And then this friendly fella. Will only disappear if you get him like far enough back. Like he's there. We go. Otherwise, he will continue to hover around. I try to not use magic here, but nah. Heck with it. At this point, heck with it. It destroys his shots too, so that's very handy. But it does nothing against them. Okay, hey, as long as I can beat this uh, number game. We're good. This is the last one. Not good. Ah, a good start. Epo. Okay, I can handle that. RNG for the pizza battles, but that was the least of the troubles as it turned out. So many carbs. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna have to let him have one. Now that I look, I could have ended it right there, and I'm a dumb, but that's okay. That's okay. I know, dude, you can eat 11 pizzas and it'll still give you the message, you barely won that one. Or you can eat one and be like, wow, you made a pig out of yourself. All right, so when you select the last winning card, the run is over, that's it? Oh my goodness, and then you get to watch the Noid walk back through most of the levels of the game. Oh, I'm just happy I could beat it for y'all, because this is still a remarkably tough game. Um, one of my favorites, I have so much nostalgia for this game. Um, thank you, thank you everybody for, uh, for supporting RGLTV, for showing up, um, for, you know, letting me do my thing here. Sorry I got noited, you know, who would've saw that coming? But, but, perfect, perfect game to have something like that happen, but, you know, we carried on, and, uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all very, very much, thank you for having me, thank you for, uh, supporting the cause, and, uh, we got lots of great games coming up next. American Gladiators is another NES classic tough game, so y'all stick around for that. Enjoy.